And now, Talk Time Tax Tips with Rapid Tax Service. Good afternoon, I'm Nicole Burks and I'm here with Joe Latiger from Rapid Tax Service. And he's gonna answer a couple of questions that we may have about taxes this year. Joe, what if I haven't received my W-2 form from my employer, what should I do? Oh, that's a good question. Um, the rule states that the W-2s are supposed to be mailed by January 30th, okay? And each employer does it a little bit differently. Some offer them over the internet, some, especially smaller employers, will just hand them to you. Others mail and they wait towards right there towards the end of mail. So if you haven't received it yet, the first thing I would recommend is to go to your employer, go to the HR department, and ask them if they have mailed the W-2s, okay? Uh, make sure that the address is correct. Okay. Now, if, if the address is different or if you know you received it and lost it, a uh, couple different situations to where you may not have the W-2 in your hand, you do have the option to go to the IRS building here in Chattanooga because they can give you a copy of what was filed for your W-2. Now, for those that don't know, the IRS is located right across the road from the Walmart on, on Brainerd Road, right there at the gas station. It's the little white building directly across the road. Uh, it's simply a matter of walking in, taking a number, and when they see you, say, I'd like to get a transcript to see what, my, what income was filed on my Social Security number for 2011, and they can print it for you. What if an individual hasn't worked for the past two months and they go back to their employer and they're closed? What should they do? Oh, wow. Um, I've seen that instance a few times to where somebody worked for a restaurant for a period of time and uh, they find things don't work out and go back after the end of the year to try to track down their W-2 and there's a padlock on the door. Um, if that's the case, you do, you know, the, the employer was still obligated to file the records for the period with the Internal Revenue Service. So I would still recommend going to the Internal Revenue Service and seeing if you can get a transcript, okay, of your W-2. Um, if it's not on file, if it's not there, then that is the one instance where you are allowed to use your, your, your check stub to file your tax return. Uh, it's done on a form, I believe it's called a, a W-2S, it's a W-2 substitute, and you have to demonstrate there's additional paperwork to demonstrate the effort you made to, to get your W-2. Thank you, Joe. Join us next week for more tax tips. Keep watching WDEF News 12 for more Talk Time Tax Tips with Rapid Tax Service.